We know that in the construction industry, traditionally, there's been very low percentage invested in R&D. Our company really took this head on and said, look, we're going to create a space where we can actually test out ideas. And so we bought the land here, and a couple years ago, we started the development process of this innovation lab. It's an opportunity for us to be on the cutting edge of the construction industry. When we do our corporate interiors projects, you know, a 20,000 square foot project, there's no time. Um, so having this platform to be able to, to work those things out, not charging a client additional money for us to do an experiment that may or may not work. There are a lot of issues in our industry that have to do with risk mitigation. I think this gives people an opportunity to kind of set that aside and just try some things that we may fail, but at least we'll learn something from it. So our research and development program really focuses on materials, approaches, and technology. Some of them range from, you know, mocking up different wiring methods, one of which being low voltage, and really producing a full cost analysis on what those methods look like for our end clients, to a bio-cement self-grown brick that grows over the course of 72 hours in a warehouse and has virtually a zero carbon footprint. From a VDC standpoint, this space gives us kind of a fresh perspective on where we can collaborate with partners. How do we take the built environment from design to facility management? There's this entire gamut that we can cover. If it's augmented reality, if it's 3D printing or additive manufacturing, and we can test a lot of these things with everybody. And HIT has always had this big commitment to research and development and really driving innovation. We hope that we can really drive change in our industry and we know that the only way to truly do that, for any one company to truly do that, is really just to engage with our partners and collaborators, you know, who we work with day in and day out. Why not bring that feedback loop into trying newer different ways of doing things to really move the needle in some way?